difference between fact and truth. A fact is the definition of the present state of a thing, the definition of reality. Truth, according to me, is a logical mental vision which describes beyond reality. Let me be more practical. Let's say I hold a dry seed of an orange in my hand. To you, my friend, what I'm holding is a seed of an orange, right? Agriculturists will say a dry seed of an orange, likewise analysts and professionals. Yes, this is the fact of grant. However, you can count the seed in an orange, but you can never count the oranges in a seed. The truth is, what I'm holding in my hand is a tree comprising many oranges, which in them too have seeds. In those seeds also are trees, which have oranges with many seeds, and so and so the cycle continues infinitely. So the truth is, what I'm holding in my hand is a forest, not a seed. In every lion, God hides a pride. In a country like Nigeria, God hides oil, gas and gold. The money Nigeria needs to be great, God has already given it in form of natural resources. The greatness of Nigeria is not in America, United Kingdom or Russia. It is right in Nigeria. The greatness of Burkina Faso is not in France or Norway. The greatness of your state is not in Abuja or in South South. It is in your state. God is not going to create a new thing or new money at this time. Everything is already put in place. We're just too myopic and greedy. We cannot see what we carry. For instance, the landmass and the surface area of Niger State alone is about 76,363 km per square. Lagos is just about 3,345 km per square. But how do you compare the two states in terms of achievements? This is the truth. The day I was born, my parents were looking at a boy, but in me is a seed of a preacher and a broadcast expert. You were born as Frank, Abib, Tunde or Victor. That is the fact. But the truth is God is looking at an international cloth expert, actor, engineer or pharmacist who will solve the problem of Ebola for the whole world. Look at you. Gideon was born a deliverer of Israel, but he was using his life to hide wheat and tubers of yam under a tree. See Judges chapter 6. What a tragedy. Why are you wasting away your time? Why? God is not gonna give up on you. Apostle Paul was a persecutor, a murderer, but God saw in him over 13 epistles to be written. A popular comedian in Nigeria was a product of rape. The mom was raped, that's the fact. But the truth is God saw a PhD holder, a comedian, an international trainer and bunch of talent. God hides greatness in most unlikely places and people sometimes. Hey, Itai of Florence, it's my name.